looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the new Super Bowl promo that is inside Madden as of now. Now, guys, Super Bowl promo, super awesome. Super awesome stuff. I don't know if you guys watched yesterday the stream or any of that, but if you guys did, you guys know a lot of what's coming out now. If you guys remember, I did predict a few of these players. I predicted that the master of the Super Bowl promo would be Joe Namath. Guys, that's a pretty good one. Who would have expected that one? I mean, like, I expected it. Maybe others did, but I feel like that was a pretty cool one, right? Because, you know, he did win Super Bowl three, I believe, with the Jets. I believe they had rights to him this year, so it all kind of just made sense, right? Now, let's go check out some solos during game and stuff, but that was exciting. Hitting a pretty big prediction there. But guys, for the most part, I'm super excited for Super Bowl promo. I'm going to go over the predictors. If you guys want to see a video of me going over who are the best predictors to do for the maximum coin output, let me know down below and I will make that video next. As well as guys, if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know. Who do you think is winning the Super Bowl? Chiefs or Buccaneers? I'm personally going Chiefs. I'm going to lean towards Chiefs. And guys, like I said, commenting and liking on each and every video does help the channel tremendously. So make sure you like the video and comment down below. Let me know who is your choice as well as... Go ahead and subscribe. Come turn on the notebook, guys. If you need coins for any of the Super Bowl stuff, head on down below. Head on over to my reserve and use code Poodle for an additional discount at checkout. Now, enough of that. Let's get into this stuff here. Super Bowl predictors. Complete these challenges to earn predictor tokens. Put the tokens into predictor sets to guess what will happen to this in the Super Bowl. Guess right and win big. So how many total predictors can you get? So there's obviously coins. You get 6,000 coins. Call your shots. Beat these challenges to earn predictor tokens. So I assume this, the predictor tokens are going to be within here. So yes. You get one predictor token, so you get a total of, I believe it's 15 challenges. So you can get up to 15, 14, 14 predictor tokens total. So 14, again, some of them won't all cost one predictor token. It may be like two or three, four, depending on how uh, how good the, the bet is. So remember that. We'll go into that later, though. Super Bowl pass solos. First down collectible, first down collectible, first down collectible. So three of them and a nat 90 to 91 overall Super Bowl player. Now, remember, the first down collectibles do get your first downs up. Kind of similar to Zero Chill when it came to uh, the... Uh, the, what's it called? The Frost, uh, your rating thing, whatever that stuff was called. I forget what it's called. But that is pretty much going to be the same thing where the more first downs you get, the more tiers you unlock, which is the more fear players you get. So we have Super Bowl passes, just solos right here. Uh, Jets versus Colts. And then we have Colts versus Cowboys. Steelers versus Cowboys. Steelers versus Cowboys. Steelers versus Rams. And so on and so forth. All the way down. Giants versus Patriots. Giants versus Patriots again. So that's pretty cool. Super cool to relive those. And then what ifs. What if, you know, the Rams versus the Patriots and then, you know, the Patriots scored the last second field goal to get the win. Change history by preventing the Patriots from scoring. So if you're like a big a football buff in terms of like Super Bowl history and stuff, you'll probably get a kick out of playing these solos. Probably probably fun. Now let's go over to the milestones, guys. Again, if you guys are ever confused with the promo, always just start at the milestones. Always go there. It's probably the easiest place. Now, new currency to add to Mutt. There's our first down currency that just did just come in. A welcome pack should be coming shortly for a lot of people. So missions. Heading over to missions, we go down to... Let's see, let's see, let's see. The Super Bowl missions are not in yet, it appears like. Okay, so let's head over to sets, so it should be out at this point. Super Bowls. So past Super Bowls are here. Complete these sets to earn players from past Super Bowls. So as you guys know, we got offensive master Joe Namath, defensive master William the Fridge Perry, Super Bowl past hero, Super Bowl past player. Now, Joe Namath's actually really good. I'll show you guys the stats in a little bit. Turn in all four offensive Super Bowl past heroes for 97 overall Joe Namath and his power-up item. You will receive all four players back required. So you need Keenan uh, Keenan McArdle. I believe that's David Deal, James White, and Brandon Cook. So obviously these players aren't up just yet, but again, you get all four of them back. They're pretty, these are some pretty good cards. I did predict James White as well. I figured we'd get one of him. I predicted uh, Joe Namath. I did not predict William Perry, but I've been waiting a while to get him back in months. So that's pretty exciting. So those are the four here. Now, if we go over to William Perry, it's going to be a different four. I believe that's Bob Sanders, uh, Corey Littleton. That was Lance Briggs, and I don't remember who this guy is on the Patriots. Uh, don't kill me if it's someone super obvious. But point is, pretty cool. You get all four back, so it's a pretty good set. I will be making a set video as well, so definitely stay tuned for that. But... Some pretty cool set stuff so far. Let's head on over, guys. Remember, you do get two free players total. Uh, once the missions are up, I can show you guys that. You do get a free, uh, two free nat players. You get a nat 95 overall. I believe it's a nat 95 overall Super Bowl pass player and a nat 95 overall Super Bowl present player. So definitely be checking that out, guys. You do get two total free players. Now, they are from solos and first downs. And I do want to show you all that stuff again. But, of course, at the current moment in time, we do have to wait for that stuff to actually come up because, you know, as per usual, card art's at least showing up now. So that's pretty good. The missions are not up yet, though. Let's go check one last time. 
and then we'll check the auction block, see if any of the cars are getting up there. All right, so Super Bowl missions are still not live. The players are getting up on the auction block, so that's exciting. Let's go check these guys out, see what we're working with here. So we got Star Lulaleli as one of the first guys we do see on here. Again, stats aren't so important in the league lower cards. At the end of the day, they're more set cards, uh, unless you're a theme team. Uh, low block shed, low power move, low speed. That card is horrible. Moving on, Joe Flacco. I look super young there. Joe Flacco. Ah, the card sucks too. Okay, so the low cards are going to suck, obviously. I mean, these are just, like I said, these are more about the sets. Who could be interesting here? Let's see. GR Sweezy. I mean, that's not that's not bad. Jaquiski Tart. Maybe some decent speed there. Uh, 93 speed, 94 Excel, 93 zone, 91 hit power. So... He can actually get to that 99 zone. He's actually not bad. Jaquiski Tart's going to be a really good 49er safety on a theme team. Robert Alford. We got Jonathan Jones for the Patriots. Bruce Irvin. Actually kind of interested to see that one. Uh, let's see. He has a 90 power move. 83 blocks. 88 speed. He's decent. Nothing too special, of course. But uh, let's keep checking them out. Alshon Jeffrey. Let's see how they made him. I just thought Chief wanted to check him out as well. 88 speed. Yep, that's horrible. I figured they'd kill Alshon Jeffrey's speed. I remember back when Madden used to give him some really good cards back a while ago, though. Damian Williams, that's interesting. Okay, so Damian Williams, 89 speed again. Another ruined card. Now, what I really want to see are these, I want to see these matches up, but they're going to take some time as everyone starts pulling these guys and then, you know, making the making the heroes and then so on and so forth. You know how, you know how this goes. So we're going to keep checking this out, but let's go check the missions in the meantime while this does go on. Still super exciting. Go over some of the predictor sets. Now, use your predictor tokens here to guess what will happen in the Super Bowl, earn rewards for correct predictions. So, guys, this is one of the most fun things of a Super Bowl promo each and every year. Essentially, there are scenarios for the Super Bowl, and if you guess correctly based on your predictor tokens, you will get rewards. So one of the cool things here is like, so Chiefs win, correct is 5,000, incorrect is 100. So it takes one predictor token. So pretty much, Buccaneers win, 8K, Chiefs win, 5K. So this is one of the easy ones, you just toss them in. If you think the Chiefs won't take it, sometimes you want to save your tokens for other stuff. So coin toss heads. If it is heads, you get 6,000. If it's coin toss tails, you get 6,000. So again, even odds, nothing too great there. Chiefs score first, 7,500. Buccaneers score first, 8,500. MVP of the Super Bowl is Patrick Mahomes. That only pays you 6K. Tom Brady pays you 9,500. Tyree Kill is the MVP, 40K. MVP Leonard Fournette, 80K. First touchdown, Travis Kelsey's 20K. First touchdown, Tyree Kill, 20K. First touchdown, Leonard Fournette's 35K. Mike Evans is 35K. First touchdown, the field. That means anyone other than those players above, which is really low. Patrick Mahomes, 325 passing yards. And by the way, these are one predictor tokens each. <clears throat> I'll get into that. Stats, pa Patrick Mahomes, 325 plus yards. Uh, passing yards, 5,500. Tyreek Kill, 92 plus receiving yards, 5,500. Uh, let's see, Travis Kelsey, 94 plus receiving yards. Again, 5,500. Kansas City, 113 rushing yards, 7,000. Let's go down to the bigger ones here. So these are low. What, what are the bangers? So the bangers are going to be probably the touchdowns. So guys, honestly, yes, you can do like, let's say you have 14 tokens. You can take all the guaranteed ones. At a 5k a piece, at, you know, one token each. And you can probably just go ahead. Oh, they're all gonna be one token this year. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. So you can go ahead and take them all, all the all the ones that you're guaranteed. Like let's say you wanna go, you wanna stack them, right? You go Chiefs wins, Buccaneers wins. Head and tails. Score first and score first. You're going back and forth. You could probably get seven of them. It sounds like a guaranteed 35k coins plus, depending on 35 to 60k, depending on which ones you pick. Or what I would probably recommend is you probably take MVP Tyree Kill, MVP Leonard Fournette first touchdown travis kelsey you take probably all of these here and if one of them hit you probably make all that coins anyways and the odds of one of them scoring first are probably pretty likely and mvps so leonard fournette and tyree kill winning mvp it's not they're not favorites they're probably far from it but there is a chance and that chance alone pays a lot of money right so you got to really uh, you got to assess what kind of risk reward you're looking for here again it's going to change for everyone so you know don't just do you know everyone's not gonna do the same exact thing so we have a bunch of players on the block already, as you guys can see, they're all coming up pretty fast. So the Masters should be up there pretty soon. We got Bob Sanders, strong safety for the Colts, 94 speed, 96 zone, 97 hit power. So powered up and coming up, guys, you'll have 99 zone, 98 hit power with 95 speed, 96 excel. Bob Sanders is crazy, 97 tackle. He'll have, he won't get 90 man, but he will get 89 man total just about, or 88 man. But the card's amazing. Bob Sanders is a great card. That hit power, zone, and speed combo is pretty crazy. Not to mention the acceleration, the change of direction, which is really good as well. The spin move, all that stuff. Like, that stuff's not going to, you know, it's not, not the biggest of deals, but it's definitely not great. But the card's going to be good. Block shit 79 going to be pretty decent in the run game as well. Bob Sanders, is a, he's a goon. He's going to be super, super good here. Next, we have David Deal, left guard. I'm not going to check him out as a lineman. Brandon Cooks, though, uh, he can be powered up and chemmed up, so he will get 96 speed, all the route running thresholds, all the catching thresholds. That's kind of what we expect with Brandon Cooks and those kind of guys nowadays. We're trying to get all the thresholds with 95 plus speed uh of course no 96 speed just yet there lance briggs 
a guy that we did bring back to Madden after a little bit. We'll get 90 speed powered up and chemmed up with good block shed, but no finesse move. So I hope he has a zone at least, right? He better have a zone. Impact block is 94. Really good. Zone coverage 80. So he's decent. Not a great card at all, actually. Uh, too low of zone. Too low of speed. And he's, you know, he's decent in the run game. But again, I'm not buying cards just for that. But yeah, pretty much is, uh, there's pretty much a lot of heroes here. Of course, you guys know the, you know the deal with this stuff. Kind of have to wait a while for the Masters and everything else. But there, I'm going to show you guys the uh, their stats real quick. All right, guys, so real quick, we do have Joe Namath. Here's a screenshot of his stats because he's not going to be up for a while. 83 speed, 97 throw power, 94 throw short, 93 throw medium, 96 deep accuracy, 97 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, 95 play action. Now, he's a super good quarterback. But from what I heard, he cannot get hot route master, which, again, if you're one of those guys that need that, it's going to be a, it's going to dampen him but he is going to be like a steve mcnair type card again maybe you prefer you know not strong arm maybe you prefer a field general but he looks good 84 speed power he's gonna be a 90 overall quarterback with 84 speed 99 throw power uh maybe 99 go deep maybe 99 throw short or medium it really just depends on which route you go there but he's gonna have a bunch of 99s on that card as well as some speed so you really can't go wrong with joe namath he looks super super good and it's interesting to see him back in the game or i don't even know if he's ever been in the game i really can't remember but it's definitely it's definitely been more 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 or less never than it is maybe even if it was one or two times but it's been a while if anything and then we got william perry the fridge back in madden 13 and all those days he used to be a staple at defensive tackle run stopper he gave him 80 speed and 80 excel which is actually pretty fast considering you know he's the fridge but he gets 80 speed and 80 excel 98 strength 95 tackle 93 player 96 block shed 94 power move. So he's going to get powered up and chemmed up. Can get 99 uh, pass rushing, 97 block shedding with 81 speed, 89 excel, and 99 strength. It's going to be a stud defensive tackle. Again, I don't know how many of you guys actually use defensive tackles, but he's going to be great nonetheless. Definitely get yourself a fridge. Get yourself a Joe Namath. These are some good cards. But guys, that does wrap up today's video. That pretty much covers everything I want to go over. And if you guys want to see predictor videos, like the video. Like I said, every video, like and comment. Let me know who's winning the Super Bowl. Let me know who's your favorite master. Always smash the like button. Helps out the channel tremendously. So make sure you're getting that done. And yeah, guys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle to pick up some of the new cards. And yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I will, I will post some more videos, so definitely check those out. But yeah, I'm out. Peace.